in this tutorial I will be teaching you on how to create a J label a J button and J panels first let's create the J label so yes import Java X dot swing dot J label once you get done with that we have to make an object universal so type in J label JL for the variable so yeah we set this as universal so all methods can use this and we'll be using that in this in the constructor in the constructor I mean all right well now let's use the variable JL equals new J label let me explain to you what J label does J label is the GUI version of the system dot out dot print line so this right here prints out the text onto the screen so this is pretty good to use and inside of this parentheses this is where we type in our message this is the message we're not done yet though we have to add this this object or this statement right here onto the J-frame if we don't add this onto the J-frame then this right here will, will be pointless or would be pointless I mean so you gotta use the add and the variable JL so this right here tells Java that we want this message to be added onto the JFrame, meaning the window of the program. So let's run this. And you can see the message on the left side of the program. If we use JPanel with the message, then we can we can tell we could gel uh, sorry about that. We could tell Java that we want this message somewhere else, like on top or bottom. But we'll go over that later. Now, let's work on the J button. We also got to import a library in order to use the J button as well. J button. We also got to add a, an object so variable will be JB we'll have to do the same thing like we did with the J label so type in the variable JB for the button and set it equals a new J button alright well obviously the J button creates a button And we can also type in text onto the button, like press me, etc. Or you could add an image onto this button. But for now, let's just add a text onto the button. And that's going to be press me. Press me. And we also got to add this to the J frame. JB. This right here will look weird without the J panel, and you'll see. So, here you go. As you can see now, the whole screen has been taken over by a button. And this looks weird. And we do not want that. So, we have to make the J panel in order to fix this. Alright, well now let's import the JPanel library so we can use it. Java X dot swing dot JPanel. Okay. We also gotta make an object for the JPanel. JP. And let's make this on right here. Let's use a variable and set it equal to the 
new J panel and you don't have to have yeah you don't have to add any text inside of this parentheses instead of adding this message onto the J frame you'll be adding this on the J panel or yeah, JP dot because we are using the variable from the J panel JP and JP P J panel is basically like a table that keeps information like this right here for example for an example we can also tell the J panel to where to be positioned at so this is a good thing to have J panel and we also gotta add the J panel onto the frame so type in JP so basically, basically what we did here is that we uh, store this message under the J panel, and we want to add this J panel onto the J frame, meaning the window of the program. So yeah, this is good right here. Actually, hold on. We can also we also going to add the J panel onto this, uh, or we're also going to add this J button underneath this, uh, or onto the J panel. I mean. So instead of adding that there, we just add this one right here, JP. And we got to make sure that this is this right here is added on the on top or not on top onto the J panel. And we're at we added the J panel onto the frame. So yeah, let's run this. Yep, we have the two things inside the single J panel. Now let's make let's yeah let's make two J panels now. So let's make another or yeah JPT or JP two I mean. Okay. JP two is equals to new J panel. Again, we don't have it. We don't have to add anything inside of this parentheses. And then now, change the JP1 to JP2 because we want this button to be added onto the second J panel. And we want to add J panel 2 onto the frame of the Java program. And we got to make sure that we have another add function for the J panel one so we can add the first J panel also on the J frame Java program alright well everything looks good so let's run it and see what happens yep you can see two J panels onto each other so we have to move one of those J panels on, on a different position so when you add the J panel to the J frame, we also can add information to Java by saying that we want this panel to be uh, positioned somewhere else. So use this syntax, border layout, and then dot, and let's use south. And what south means is that we're going to place the button on the bottom of the J frame. So you'll see what happens right now see we have two different J panels on a different position uh, yeah on different positions I mean so yeah it's pretty good